Welcome my friends into today's video. I am so very excited to do this video because not only are we going to go over how to start an effective skincare routine and we're just going to go over some basics here but this video is a collaboration and i am super excited about this collab most of you know who penny from penn smith skincare's channel is this woman is an advanced esthetician and she is just skyrocketing here on youtube and i couldn't be happier she deserves every bit of it and it is because she is such a huge well of knowledge and here on her channel she does not hold back anything she gives us intricate details into what our skincare should be like so penny is going to be joining us for the third part of this video and, and here on the second part of the video which is going to be the add-ons we have mr kong's mom that's melanie from her channel and you guys i've really only started watching melanie about two to three months ago, something like that. But I am thoroughly enjoying her. She just has a very down to earth spirit. She's a beautiful woman. She loves home fragrance and she loves Bath and Body Works, you guys. So if home fragrance and those kinds of things are the things that you're into, you are going to absolutely love it. But she does give wonderful reviews on makeup and on skincare and she's a good friend of Penny. So I was super excited to be able to join these two. So please go over and show these two to gals some love. I know that you are going to just absolutely find them invaluable here on YouTube as I do. And I want to say a special welcome to any of you that are coming over from Melanie or Penny's channel. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing if you enjoy the content. We have a really amazing community here wonderful people that really love beauty skincare makeup and a lot of it is based around the mature community but a lot of what we talk about is very affordable makeup as well which can be valuable to anybody no matter your age so i do hope that you do decide to stick around and enjoy some more of the videos please everyone if you wouldn't mind just giving this video a thumbs up it really does help so now we're going to get into the meat of the video which is all about starting a skincare regimen and what you can do with the basics and we're going to find out what the basics are right now all right so the basics of a skincare regimen would be number one to make sure you're cleansed number two to make sure that you're moisturized and number three to make sure that you're protected so let's start off with cleansing first thing you want to do of course if it's nighttime and you have a full face of makeup on you're going to want to take that makeup off and i have two options for everything in here you guys and that's because i want to give you options as far as where you shop or where you might be able to buy these things at there are things that you can go up and pick up in the drugstore as well but these are mostly online products just so you know that okay so this one right here is from Hada Labo um, I can't say their parent company I, I want to say it's Roto or something like that anyway it is their cleansing oil and I love this stuff you guys this is a thinner consistency so you get it on your eyes and it just takes everything off really really quickly so and if you wear a lot of waterproof makeup or you have a lot of um, problems with making sure you get your mascara off and all that i would recommend this this is definitely one that i have repurchased again and i will continue to repurchase because i just think it's a great price point but also the product is so good i always like to tell people when things have fragrance this does not have a fragrance in it at all so that is a wonderful cleansing oil and you get a ton there and it's going to last you a long time and then the other one that i'm absolutely hooked on right now is from good molecules this is the instant cleansing balm and inside of here there's just a white balm that you use some you put it in between your fingers warm it up and take off your makeup and you guys it's so good now this one this one kind of smells a little bit like baby oil, just a hint of that. So it does have a little bit of fragrance in it. So if that bothers you, keep that in mind. But this is like my fourth one of these. I just really love these. I used to buy the Clinique Take the Day Off, and I think Neutrogena might have a balm. I'm not exactly sure about the Neutrogena one. It was Neutrogena or Alme that I used to buy. But I switched over to this, not only because it's a good size, but also because I really do like good molecules. I think they have great ingredients, and this does the job 
job so well of just taking that makeup off in an instant. Now we're gonna switch over to actually cleansing the skin, making sure this skin is completely clean after you've done your makeup removal. You wanna take off all that oil that you've just used and you wanna do it with a good cleanser. I have two. One that you can use in the morning if you want to. Actually, either of these you can use in the morning and night no matter what you want to. Now this one right here, is from Open Formula, and it is the glycolic 10% glycolic acid cleanser. It just really helps with sloughing the dead skin in the morning, and you know, really getting all of the extras off that you've had on overnight. And I really enjoy doing this in the morning to get my skin really prepared for anything I'm going to be putting on it. My serums, my moisturizer, just really seems to really cleanse that skin really well, and does help with the removal of dead skin as well. And then this one is another one from Hada Labo, and this is the gentle hydrating cleanser with hyaluronic acid and this one is fragrance free and again let me make sure that this one from um, open formula has doesn't have a fragrance this one doesn't have a particular fragrance it does smell like glycolic the glycolic acid though so yeah i can tell that that's in there but other than that there is not a fragrance in it at all now no. the hada labo one i don't know if any of you have ever tried some of the powder exfoliators that you get from like good molecules or derma 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 or dermatologica i think that's how you say that anyway those powder um, exfoliators they smell like this which tells me that there's an ingredient in there that does help exfoliate a little bit but if you have very dry skin this one in particular is not going to strip your skin of all your natural oils so you're not going to be left feeling dry this one does have a tendency to take off the extra oils so depending so on where you're at is which one you might want to purchase for yourself so at night we've taken off our makeup and we've done our cleansing to get our skin ready for anything that we're going to put on it the serums or anything like that but i don't i'm not going to go over any of those because that's in another video for you guys with the other gals but what i'm going to go over now is moisturizer and moisturizing is so important because in the morning you're going to need that moisture to plump up your skin to make it look really good for makeup and that is one of the key factors in making your makeup look really good is that plumping and then at night you're going to need to lock in all those yummy ingredients that you have and make sure that you have all of those set in so that they can overnight do their job and they're not just going to waste away in the air. So I do have three of these and I know this is not a very popular opinion as far as a lot of people go, but because I have mature skin and because I find that my makeup can very easily get cakey because I have dry skin, I do go in with the Suko Yakusuhara Urea Moisture Lotion. Now, interestingly enough, I did learn about this from Penny off of Penn Smith Skincare's channel, but since that, um, probably two years or more, I have been absolutely hooked on this product. I've repurchased it over and over again, and you guys have heard me talk about it until you're probably sick to death of me talking about it, but this is so very good. So no matter what I do in the morning, this is my last step. And even though this is not an occlusive moisturizer, meaning that is more of an essence, it is really good at keeping me hydrated throughout the whole entire day. And I just find that for me, it does the trick fantastic. And doesn't put down that extra layer now i will say that if you don't like the idea of doing the lotion in the morning i really do like the elf hello hydration this one is a really good one that sinks in very quickly and it is a little bit thicker of a formula but at the same time it just really does the trick really well as far as moisturizing my skin and locking everything in and making my skin just feel very very hydrated um, personally, again, I am one that if I'm doing a full makeup day, I like the other one that is the essence because it just is a very thin layer, but this one will do the job very well too. And especially if you're not keen on using an essence as your last moisture, this one is fantastic and it gives really hydrated feel to my skin. And then at night for myself, I use a lot of different serums and I put those serums on. And then after all of that, I'm going to use the Suko Yakusahara cream. This one is very thick, very balm like. So if you're somebody that has oily skin, I would say that you're not going to like this one. But for me, and because in the morning I can wake up, if I haven't put something like this on, that is a really sturdy heavy cream if i haven't put this on i'm going to find that my forehead is super dry my around my eyes is super dry my lips are super dry my chest i just love this because i can put it on in a very thin layer it lasts me a really long time i mean an extremely thin layer and then in the morning i'm going to still have 
very hydrated eyes and forehead and face because it has locked everything in and it itself is a fantastic moisturizer so i would say an absolute on that one now, i do want to touch on very quickly about spfs i used in this in the winter time i used the skin aqua uv super moisture milk it comes in a blue one this is the white one this is the essence the one that is the super moisture milk i will throw up a, a little picture for you here i do find that that one is fantastic for me in the winter but because my skin is changing so quickly with menopause and i sweat so much i am really noticing that i need something that is much lighter than that one this one is really good this does have a bit of alcohol in it but it sinks into the skin super quickly and i am finding that it doesn't dry me out extremely i have tried several recently that had titanium dioxide dioxide in them i do love the australian gold one that is the tinted um, moisture and i think that one is fantastic i will list that one below and show you guys that right here too as well all of these right here i feel like are just fa fabulous 50 spf in this one 50 spf in those two as well just so want to make sure that you guys know exactly what you're getting into now on the fragrance, I don't notice any fragrance on this one or the other one that is the moisture. I do know that the Australian Gold is fantastic for so many people and that I used it on my arms and up my neck and everything. I just couldn't use it on my face. It was a little bit too heavy for that. But I do know that that is a favorite of a lot of people just to wear on its own because it does have a little bit of a tint in it. And now you can get it in a few different colors, which is really cool too. So that is everything, you guys. I know that I went over these a little bit faster, but I didn't want to keep you guys for very long because I want to get you right over to Melanie's video and then over to Penny's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to me today. I hope that you do enjoy those other two gals and make sure that if you're new here that you let me know that in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you and get to know you a little bit. So please everyone have a wonderful week or weekend wherever this video might hit you. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe, stay sanitized, stay hydrated, stay healthy, and I will catch you all in my very next video. Love you. Bye-bye.